Hi, this is John, the 6EY, with a short video about using GNU Radio to decode subcarrier FM broadcasting. Now, most of you probably know that uh, many FM stations in your community broadcast second or even third programs on what's called a subcarrier. And what we're doing right now is we're listening to our local CBC FM station, uh, which is on 102.1 here in Calgary. <coughs> and in the baseband, uh, we can see the normal mono signal, the pilot tone, the stereo component, the RDS. And oh, up here at 66, 67 kilohertz, we have a uh, subcarrier. And that subcarrier is broadcasting uh, Asian programming. That's what the subcarrier looks like. And here's the audio coming out of the subcarrier. And one funny thing, I noticed uh, that CBC seems to broadcast its subcarrier on 66 kilohertz rather than 67. The two normal uh, channels are 67 kilohertz and 92 kilohertz. I can't find any 92 kilohertz signals in the Calgary area. So what I did was I did find three stations that carry second programs. BKUA has more Asian programming. And CFQ is broadcasting the time of local AM stations. In order to uh, find the signal uh, in your community you that carries subcarriers, you have to take a look at the spectrum of the signal and look for that peak around 67 <coughs> kilohertz in the baseband. So, we're going to go through this now and just see how it works. Um, let's uh, get started by looking at uh, GNU Radio. Uh, the first thing I did was to set up a number of stations. I discovered that uh, there were three stations in Calgary uh, containing uh, subcarrier uh, programming, so I set them up just with a simple chooser control so I can select between them. Um, the radio we're using is the RTL SDR. Uh, this is set up to uh, sample at uh, 960 kilohertz per second. And uh, whatever station I've selected is what I tune the frequency for the uh, RTL-SDR to. Following the radio coming in, I cut the amount of data in half and I filter it. <coughs> and here we've got a filter, uh, which I call the filter taps for the tuner, which reduces the bandwidth of that FM signal down to 100 kilohertz. And uh, this just basically gives me a, a, a channel filter for the station. Then we go into the FM demodulation. Currently now we're sampling at 480K. And uh, I've set the deviation to 75 kilohertz, which is what FM stations use in North America. I've set the audio passband <coughs> down to uh, uh, 90K. And uh, the first thing we do is we actually... Uh, capture and play the audio from the main signal because we didn't uh, just want to have the subcarrier we also wanted to look at the main audio so uh, the main audio is uh, the programming you normally hear and the way this is set up right now i've set up the low pass filter uh, for the main audio to cut off at 15 kilohertz which is what most stations will uh, broadcast their mono signal to so by doing FM demodulation on the mono signal. Earlier this month, Nissan says it doesn't know how many people the, were uh, affected, but basic, it is contacting... The basic program. From the it's to investigate the breach. And change the volume. And okay, because basic uh, programming is one thing, we wanted to know now what's on the subcarrier. So we take that same demodulated baseband signal from the FM station and we put it through a frequency translating filter which translates to the frequency of the, uh, of the subcarrier in the baseband. And we've set uh, our choices to 66, 67, and 92 kilohertz. Um, 67 and 92 are the kind of official uh, channels, but I found out that... Uh, my CBC seems to put out their subcarrier on 66, so I included that as well. So after translating and filtering down, and I'm basically uh, using filter down to 5 kilohertz uh, frequency bandwidth, 
which uh, plus and minus five on the complex data will give me uh, give me a basic narrow band FM signal uh, for the subcarriers. Subcarriers are generally narrow band, uh, and you can get maybe seven or eight kilohertz of audio, so they're kind of like an AM signal. So after translating uh, from the baseband to tune the subcarrier frequency, we demodulate that. And I've set the deviation to 5 kilohertz because it's a narrowband FM signal. And I'm allowing 7 kilohertz or so of audio to pass through. And then we put that through a, a volume control and, uh, and uh, put the sound out the speaker. Basically, I've also set up a whole bunch of uh, uh, windows to show the signal on the screen here. So here again, here's CBC. There's the signal coming in from the radio being sampled. Here it is demodulated down to baseband. Uh, basically, this is an audio signal stretching out to 100 kilohertz, obviously well above the hearing level. And we can listen to the main signal. Everybody knows a turkey and some mistletoe. So the main signal is nice. We want to listen to the subcarrier. So we take that uh, 67 kilohertz subcarrier and we uh, frequency shift that down to baseband. There's the uh, subcarrier signal. Then we demodulate it. All our subcarriers around here seem to be Asian broadcasting, which is fine. <laughs> So that's the subcarrier on CKUA. There's the subcarrier on the CBC. Commentary on today's top news stories and CLA. your thoughts on what the world is coming to. You are listening to Afternoons with Rob Breckenridge on 770 CHQR. <laughs> Call or text 403. So I've noticed uh, there's a bit of interference on some of the signals, a bit of crosstalk from the main uh, main FM uh, channel. But uh, by and large, this works pretty good. And with my $20 RTL FDR, I'm able to quite easily uh, decode the three stations in Calgary that have FM subcarrier. Again, the, uh, the approach is pretty easy. Uh, take your source, your radio, decimate it, demodulate the main FM signal, then take the uh, SCA subcarrier and uh, switch to that and demodulate that, and you're good to go. Now you'll notice also in the, uh, in the main baseband that most stations will have uh, another subcarrier around uh, 57 kilohertz. That's the RDS signal. And I'm going to work on decoding that next. Um, in terms of quality, I noticed that the uh, the peak power level of the uh, SCA baseband signal varied quite a bit. CBC's is quite strong. Uh, CKUA's is about the same. Uh, but this third station, CF in southwestern Ontario, Canada, a bit lower where subcarrier. And, they found uh, that the teenagers that, that are more easily classed as bullies quality is not quite are as actually. Good. Putting down. Anyway, there you go. A quick video on how to use GNU Radio to decode subcarrier information on your local FM station. Uh, the trick is to work your way through the band and find which stations actually have a subcarrier and then just focus on them. And you can do that by just demodulating each station down the baseband and looking for the 67 or 92 kilohertz subcarrier. I haven't found any at 92 yet, so it all seems to be uh, focused on 67. Thank you very much. Have fun with GNU Radio and uh, playing with software to find radio.